welcome back to my channel. Um, so I know this is a little bit later than I usually post. I would be lying if I said I wasn't struggling just a little bit with this new normal. <laughs> um, so I'm sure you guys are too. <laughs> I'm like, this sucks. I'm sure many of you, um, most of you have also lost all your events and are just stuck at home too. So it, the motivation gets a little hard. <laughs> so today we're gonna but today we're gonna do um, Powerpuff Girls for my friend Robert. Hi Robert. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna start with Blossom. We're gonna do all of them, but we're gonna start with Blossom because she's the leader. All right, so. For this first part, we're going to do, um, all of the girls are going to be the same for the dress and the basic stuff, and then we're going to change things up for the hair. Obviously, you change the color of the dress for them, so for, for Blossom, we're going to be using pink, but then you'll use green, and then green for Buttercup, and blue for Bubbles. So, for the pink, we've got about six fingers on the end here, and we're going to do about a Seven, six, seven finger buckle here. Okay, and what we're gonna actually what we're gonna do here is we're gonna stretch it out first, make sure it's nice and soft. Okay, and then we're gonna do about a seven finger bubble. And then we're gonna do just like the tiniest one finger bubble you ever did see. We're gonna do the same thing. So the tiniest one finger bubble you ever did see, and then we're going to come back up with that same seven finger bubble. So we want them to be exactly the same size, just like that. Wrap it around that knot and pull it through just so it doesn't go anywhere. We're going to do exactly the same thing again. So, seven finger bubble, tiniest one finger bubble, and then we're going to wrap this through the center. Connecting those three tiny bubbles that way, the bubbles theoretically don't go anywhere, mine did, but theoretically they shouldn't. And we're going to do the tiniest bubble ever, come back up exactly the same size, and then wrap that around the belt. What you should have is four tiny bubbles and then four seven finger bubbles. And then we can move the part of the dress. Okay, so I'm doing it this way because I just find it a little bit easier. It keeps everything tight and in place. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and we're gonna just twist it in half. So we're going to grab it right around the middle, make sure everything is aligned so it's the same size, and just twist it all together. And then what that does is that gives you the top of the dress and the bottom of the dress, and it keeps everything nice and tight for you. Now you can do this separately where you twist the top and then the bottom pieces. So it works out to about four finger bubbles on each side. I don't know how the six finger bubble works out that way, but that's how it works. It turns it into an eight finger bubble. But I like to do it all at once because I like how tight and structured it is and it stays all in place. Now we're going to use a white. You can also use a scrap for this, but I seem to be out of white scrap. So we're going to use a full white. Take this. Wrap it around the middle of the dress. And then we're going to pull the arrow and pull it all the way down to those, to where those little bubbles meet. And we're going to do a four finger bubble. And we're going to do a four finger bubble and bring it up to the top. And then we're going to find out where we pulled it through on down. We're going to go to the very opposite side and pull it back up and then wrap that around the dress. And then we can get rid of the rest of the white. So as you can see, we really don't need that much white. Now what that does, 
because the, we pulled it down on this one side and then pulled it back up on the exact opposite. It'll make everything stay in place, like the tights down here, stay in place better. And we're going to need a black. Stretch it out first. And on this one we got about four fingers. I did stretch it out a little bit there. We are going to give it two pinch twists. And then we're going to wrap it around the waist of our blossom. And wrap it into those two pinch twists so it doesn't go anywhere. So we're going to blow it up all the way, and then what we're going to do is we're going to squish it down and let the air out. And this will give it a nice round shape. So once you got it nice and round and squishy, you can tie it off as close to the air as you can so that you have a nice long tail. And then at the top, you want to do the same thing. Tie it off as close to the air as you can, just like this. And then that way it will keep its round shape. If you didn't, it, while you're twisting, it'll stretch out and go oval again. So that's just a nice tip if you want to get your quick links round. And we're going to take the knot and we're going to wrap it into the top of that dress. So this is the top here. We're going to push this all the way through. Now because of the way we twisted the dress, it is a little bit harder to do. But I believe in you. like that. Okay. And then for her arms, we are going to do a scrap blush. I like to start with two pinch twists for the hand. And we're going to do a four finger bubble. We're going to take this and we're going to wrap this into her head. And we're going to do another four finger bubble and then do two more pinch twists. Now because it looks kind of silly and it's not really holding everything in place, I will go to the side and there's two bubbles on the side here. We're going to pull these open and push that arm down just like that and then the arm should stay in place here. Now on the other side, we take these two bubbles, pull them open and push that arm down. Just, oh, it came back out. Push that arm down, and then push that arm down. Oh my goodness. This one doesn't want to stay down. But there we go. Alright, now Blossom has orange hair. So we're going to use orange. Now I've done a bit of a curl on the ends of my balloons. I'm using two for her hair. 
we're going to give it about a four finger bubble and a pinch cut. Just like that. And we're going to wrap this into the top of the cookie. At which point we're going to come down the back of our head, wrap it around, and then we're going to come back up. And then we're going to do that again. So, four finger bubble, wrap that into the pinch twist. We're going to come down the back of our head. Just like that. Now with the part that you curled, just sort of wrap those together. So tangle them up like this, and then it should create like a nice curl for her ponytail. It's just so that they'll stay together and you give it more of a ponytail look. Now for this, these parts, it's not looking the greatest right now. So we're gonna take this, take the knot, and we're gonna put it under this top bubble and bring it, bring the knot back up and wrap it around that pinch hook. And then it should give her that bang look. And we're going to do this one on the other side. So push it through that front bubble, all the way to the back, bring that nozzle back up and wrap it around that top pinch hook, just like that. And then we should have our hair done. I'm just going to twist this a bit to the side, give it more of a pointy go. Now, we just need her bow. So, a pinch twist. No, she's got a big bow. So we're going to do a five finger flower petal. And then another five finger flower petal. Then we're going to do another pinch, oh, hold on. Yeah, another pinch twist to the back. And I'm just going to open this up a bit. Just like that. And then we can grab, we can remove the rest of this. But leave a tail so you can wrap it into that pinch twist in the front. Just like that. And then we have Blossom. I will show you how to do her face in a second. Pull her hair down. There we go. I will show you how to do her face in a second. But we have a couple more girls we need to do first. So let's start with Bubbles. Now this is exactly the same thing as we did with Blossom. Except we haven't done her hair and her dress is obviously blue. So, for bubbles, we're going to use yellow for her hair. Now she's got bangs as well, so we're going to do, or like that swoop that goes to the side. So we're going to do the same thing. Four finger bubble and then a pinch twist. And we're going to wrap it into that top of that quick like that. Now, I'm going to come down about three fingers and do two pinch twists and then we're going to bring it all the way down to her neck. So what you're going to have is this is going to come out the back of her head but we're going to have from the first pinch twist we did three finger bubble, two pinch twists and then come down to the neck. We're going to do the exact same thing. So measure that so it's going to be a four finger bubble, two pinch twists, And then a three finger bubble. And then come back up to that pinch twist at the top. Just like that. Now at this point, we are going to come down the middle. And then we're going to, right as this, come down the middle. And just wrap this off into her neck. 
just like that. Second balloon. We're gonna do four finger bubble. Wrap that right into her the top pieces, and then we're gonna come back. We're gonna come all the way down in front of those two pieces, bubble, and then all the way back up. Now we're gonna pull the air out and come down to those two pinches on the right side. And what we're gonna do an eight finger bubble, and then a three finger bubble, and wrap it back in. Oh, hold on. and then bring it back into that pinch. Sorry, normally I would just... No, I wouldn't. <laughs> you get to see all the mistakes I made. Because it's life. So, at this point here, so we have... So we have the two in the front, then we have the two on the sides. The one that comes down to two pinch twists, the one that comes down with the two pinch twists, and then we have the back bubble. And then we're going to do take this, pull it through that front one, and wrap it into that pinch twist. So it's a pigtail. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. So pull it through the front bubble. And wrap it into those two pinch twists. So just like that. We got bubbles. Alright. <laughs> I will show you how to do her face as well. But we still have one more left. Buttercup. So for buttercup. We're going to start, again, she's got the bangs as well, so four finger bubble, pinch twist, and then wrap that into the top. We're going to come down the back, just like that, and at this point we're going to do some flower petals, so we're going to do about we're going to do a five finger flower petal, and we're going to come along the other side and do another five finger flower petal. And we're going to come back up. Then we can get rid of the rest of this. So for this balloon, we've got a four finger bubble, pinch twist, down the back, five finger flower petals on each side, and coming back up. Then we're going to need another balloon. Oh, almost forgot. We need our four finger, four finger bubble for the bangs. And then this one, we're just going to bring it up and down. So we went, sorry, ooh. so we went down and then up. So now we have four bubbles in the back, and then we're going to go down one more time for five. So full five. Then we can get rid of the rest of this. So just like Blossom, we're going to take the knot, pull it behind the first bubble, wrap it back up to that pinch twist. And again, oh. take the nozzle, wrap it behind that first bubble, pull it up and around that pinch twist. This top pinch twist is a workhorse.
Okay, hold on. So we want these two flower petals to be at the back here. Bloom's not cooperating. And then we're gonna flip them up to the side here, just a little bit. So take it, put some pressure in the center, and just pull it up. And then it'll give it a bit of a curve for you, which is what we want. And then we have blossom. I mean, sorry, buttercup. I keep calling your blossom. Sorry, I promise next week I'm hopefully going to be so much better. I'm still a little disoriented with this whole situation. <laughs> so, you know, world crises. <laughs> it's not my finest hour. Okay, for their faces, their eyes are huge. So what we're going to do is we're going to go... circle here and then on the other side we're going to do the same thing. Big circle here and then they don't really have noses so we're just going to give them big U for their mouth. And then inside that big circle do another big circle and then we're going to do Another kind of big circle there. And then just everything in that super center one, so not like the last circle you made and not the biggest one, the medium circle you would fill in. So same thing on the other side. So you have your super big circle here, and then we're gonna do a medium circle. And then the small circle. Not sure how well we can see this. And then fill in the medium circle. Alright, just like that. And then. Oh, I'm gonna give them blush just because. Two little ovals. Hold on, where's my green? Okay. Buttercup! Buttercup! It's got green eyes. So we're just gonna do a circle, just trace that medium circle with some green. And then the white. the other ones done for you. Okay, and we're back. And at which point we have all three girls. And they're all super adorable. <laughs> so these are the Power Girls girls. And I hope you like the tutorial. Uh, leave a comment below and I hope you guys are doing better <laughs> than I am right now. Um, yeah. So, and I hope you're enjoying these long weeks of wearing pajamas. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>